What's YouTube? You know it's probably to Santa. What's up and welcome back to the FIFA 17 experiment video and this time I have an interesting one. It's with all the best under 20 year olds. So we got players like Dembele and Mbappe. He's had a six season real life Tillemans uh, and Didi Sanchez, Donnarumma in goal. Then we have on the bench Jesus, Marin, Rashford, Diawara and on the reserves players like Mbolo, Malcolm, Diakabi. We got Azuru, Ian Nacho, Neres, and Diop, and other players. This is gonna be quite interesting experiment because they are the best players in their age. But can they manage to fight for the Premier League title? That's the big question. I'm not so sure they will. Their offense is quite strong. Defensive wise, not that strong. Midfield is quite good with Sanchez from Bayern Munich. Indeed, in Tillemans, and we do have a lot of Ajax players in our team. Reserves are on the bench. But yeah, I reckon this team could get at least a top 10 spot. What do you think they will end up of this season? Vote by pressing on the right corner right now. But now let's just continue Sim Hoffy through the season to January. And if you like this video, hit the like button. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe button for even more FIFA experiment videos. And I did put us in the Champions League instead of Leicester City. Because on paper, our Sunderland side is much better than Leicester City side, so we should do better than them. The first half of the season has ended, let's take a look. Some good result in Champions League maybe. But the last match we did play was against Liverpool, did we win it? Oh, we lost 2-1, but now let's take a look at some big matches. United 0-0. Oh, 1-0 against Chelsea in the Champions League, 1-0 against Besiktas, 2-1 loss against uh, Lyon, 2-0 loss against Sevilla, 2-1 defeat against Liverpool, against Hull City 3-1 win, Sunderland, oh, Burnmouth, Burnmouth 1-0 loss, Sevilla 1-0, Arsenal then, oh, we won against Arsenal 1-0, but now let's take a look. Where we stand in the league so far. So we got knocked out by Reading in the EFL Cup 2-1. That's a shame, we could have gone further. But well, one cup less to worry about, I guess. And in the Champions Cup, oh, we didn't uh, qualify for the round of 16. Let's take a look where we ended. Third or last place, hopefully third. Yeah, third place. Oh, we did actually get seven points. We didn't do it too bad actually, but Lyon and Sevilla were too strong. And in the Premier League, where are we? Down in 15th, so it's not looking too good. My prediction of coming at last 10th place are uh, not impossible. We can still manage to save this season, turn it around. But only 5 wins, 6 draws, 9 defeats. Score 20, not that much. Conceded 24, but with my defenders, I'm not really surprised that I can see that many goals. But 21 points. Chelsea are leading, Spurs are in 2nd place, United and Chelsea are just behind them and Bournemouth in 5th, Man City down in 10th place actually Okay, Donnarumma actually had, Donnarumma had 3 clean sheets but do we have any good goal scorers? Okay, Tillemans scored 2, that's nice Oh, 6 goals by Wabi Ghazari Kazri Mbappe, uh, only played 8 matches That's the negative side of Sydney matches because the computer decide to play whatever player they want to play, man. That's nothing I can do about it, but eight matches, no goals. Then Bele only scored two, and then Rashford scored three, so he played more than uh, Mbappe, even though Mbappe is my starter. Gabriel Jesus, okay, seven goals, 21 matches. But let's see me by hand, month by month. Hopefully, we can climb up the ladder and uh, finish at least 10th place. But we shouldn't get relegated, that's for sure. We have a strong side, quite experienced side. So we won against Reading 3-1. We lost against Stoke. We drew against West Brom. We lost against Chelsea in the FA Cup. Can we beat Spurs? I really hope so, but I don't think we will. But we should have a great chance to beat uh, AZ Alkmaar, where we pronounce it. The Dutch side in the Champions League. Oh, EuroLeague. Because we finished third place. Did we beat Spurs? Oh, we did actually. 2 0. Oh, wow. And Crystal Palace 0 0. Sick. And 4 2 against Sutton. And we won the first leg away from home in the EuroLeague 2 1. So we do a second leg and we are through. So we are through to the next round. And Everton. Oh, we beat Everton away from home 3 1. So we beat Spurs 2 0. Now we're beating Everton 3 1. But did we beat City? 
Oh, one all, send it. Oh, two all. And then we had Borrow, lost two, uh, one nil. And then come on, Libby win the second leg. If we did, we are through. Oh, we smashed a three nil. And we are through to the uh, quarterfinals. And we drew against PSV in the quarterfinal of the uh, EuroLeague. Can we win the second leg against PSV? Another Dutch side. We have an intense month in April. A lot of matches, tired legs. We lost against Arsenal. We won against West Ham. We won against Bournemouth. Did we win against PSV? Oh, two all. Oh, but wait, did we play a home first or away first? Because goal defense could matter. Let's take a look. Yes, two all. We played away from home, so we scored the most uh, away goal. So we are through, man. We are through. Wow, this side. Wow. And going to face Benfica in the semi-finals. That's going to be a tricky one. So we lost the first leg against Benfica. So let's actually sim it. We need at least one goal, man. An away goal. Oh yeah, they scored two. So we need to score two goals. Fuck. But we can do it. We beat Spurs. We beat uh, Everton. Can we beat Benfica? Surely. But so far, no goals. And they got injured on the striker. That's good for us. Oh, they scored, but we can still score two goals to take it to extra time. Come on, no goals yet. Oh, it's not looking good, man. It's not looking good at all. 80 minute mark now. Still no goals for us. Oh, we lost one now. We are out. But we reached the semi finals. That's a very good achievement. I didn't think that at all. But now let's just continue to see through the rest of the season. A few matches left. What, three league matches left? Hopefully we can uh, reach top 10 spot and we beat Swansea 3-1, we beat Hull City 3-1, did we beat Chelsea? Oh, we drew. We, yeah, the first of the season only managed to get 5 wins and uh, yeah, we managed to get more than 5 wins the second half of the season, that's for sure. Hopefully that was enough to give us at least 10th place. Let's take a look. Oh wow, we managed to get top 10. Oh wow, top 10 by a margin actually. Swansea just beneath us there with uh, 7 points behind us. But Chelsea, oh they won the league by 1 point. Also in 2nd place. The Spurs dropped down to 3rd place May night and in 4th. And West Brom was better than Liverpool and Man City and Everton. Wow, Everton down in 16th place and City down in 13th. So we did better than Man City and Everton. Burnley, Watford and Hull were relegated, but wow, we did a really, really good comeback. We pulled ourselves up, we climbed the ladder, and we did the job. And my prediction was correct this time, which we weren't with Brazil in last experiment. I got it completely wrong, but we managed to get 14 wins, 11 draws, and 13 defeats, 52 goals scored. That's decent, and only see 43. Well, I say only because. We don't have the best player, so that's quite good actually. We got a goal defense of negative 6, 46 points. Oh, Liverpool won the FA Cup 5 4 against United. The Stoke won the EFA Cup against Arsenal. Wow. 5 0 against uh, Burnley. And then they won against Arsenal. And the Champions League has not been played yet, but Napoli faced Juve in a complete Italian final. That could never happen in real life. <laughs> in the EuroLeague, Villarreal beat Benfica, the team that beat us 3-1. Oh wow, but yeah, great season for Sunderland and, and under 20 players, whatever you call it, I don't know. But did we get any uh, players on the top score, on the score sheet? Nah, assists. Oh, we got Dembele with 5 assists in 17th place. I'll take that, man. Clean sheets. Nah, I'm not surprised we're not. Oh, we actually Don Rumo with 6. Not too bad. So, how do my players actually perform? Let's take a look at the squad report. So, Don Rumo, 34 matches, 9 clean sheets. It was a difficult task for him in the Premier League, but he did alright, I guess. And his overall went up plus 3. For 18 year old, that's quite good for one season, man. Ramto Sanchez up by 2. Only played 15 matches. Tillemas 33 matches. Decent up by 2 in overall. Kazri 11 goals. That's good from his left mid position. Mbappe no goals. Wow that's a disappointment for me. Overall went up. Dembele 14 goals. Up plus 3. Rashford only 4 goals. Up by 2. Jesus. Oh he played 47 matches in the end. Banged it. 12 goals in the Prem, 18 in total. His overall went up by 3 as well. But yeah, that's gonna wrap up this episode. 
and this experiment. Quite fun one actually. But yeah, if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe if you need that will be even better. And comment down below any more experiments you want me to do. And I might do them, probably will. But yeah, that's it for this episode. This is Moventus and until next time, thank you, come again.